Hello everyone, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the today's session, I am sharing how to become a React.js developer and what is the complete roadmap to become a React.js developer. React is one of the most popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It is one of the fast and flexible uh, JavaScript library to build apps. And it is also has a strong community to help employees when they face any problems. By using React.js, we can build the applications based on the components only. You have to break down the complex code into individual pieces, which means you divide your entire user interface into reusable components. All are developed separately and finally merge all components into parent components, which is then rendered. Nowadays, lot of companies are moving into React. So that is the reason many beginners and experienced developers are upgrading their skills learning this JavaScript library. Then what is the exact learning path to become a React.js developer? Then I will share the complete roadmap to become a React.js developer. Then before start to learn React.js, then what are the prerequisites to learn React.js? Okay, see here. So you must have basic knowledge on HTML, CSS and JavaScript to learn React.js. So as we know, HTML is used to develop the web applications. So it is nothing but skeleton of the human body. Okay, whereas CSS, CSS means cascading style sheet. It is used to design and to, to give styles to the website. And also you can apply colors, fonts, each and everything you can apply by using CSS. And then JavaScript. JavaScript is used to create dynamic web applications. So after that, you have to learn basic features of ES6. ES6 is the version of the JavaScript library. Okay, there are some features out there you have to learn before start to learn React.js. Those are nothing but let, constant, okay, arrow functions and class. You have to learn at least these basic features before jumping to React.js. Okay. So after learn after comfortable these concepts, then you have to learn npm. NPM means Node Package Manager. NPM is a package manager. It is used to install uh, node modules and their package into your project. Okay. So after comfortable after comfortable with the NPM, then you have to jump into to learn React.js. So you have to learn some basic fundamentals of React.js like uh, component architecture, state, props, okay, and functional components okay class components and how to connect apis using uh, uh, react.js apps you have to learn all these basic concepts so after compatible with uh, these fundamentals of react.js then try to build some small projects okay then you will get some real-time experience to build the apps by using react.js so i will give some examples of uh, uh, small projects like a calculator app, shopping cart app, to-do list app. So these are the basic uh, uh, projects. Okay, you can build and you can gain the experience. Okay, so after that, you have to learn React Router. This React Router will help you how to load the content of specific phase or how to redirect to specific page by using React Router. For example, suppose you are in home page, you have to redirect into some other page like contact page. So this will take care by the React Router. Once you understand the React Router, then you can make a one project like a simple curd application. Curd means C-U-R-D. Create, update, read and delete application. The entire software project will depend on the, this formula only, curl application. You have to create the application, update the application, read the application, and then delete the application. 
or we can say create the data, update the data, read the data and delete the data. Any application will depend on this formula only. We have to create the create the data, update the data, delete the data and read the data. So after compatible with the React router, you have to learn server render and then webpack. Webpack will help you to maintain dependencies as a static files of your project. So developers don't have to do it. Webpack also comes with the loaders. Loaders help to run specific tasks around the project. Okay, so after compatible with the webpack, you have to learn Redux. Redux is very important for React.js developer because Redux stores the, all the states in a single resource. Redux is also a JavaScript library which helps you to maintain all the states of the application. Suppose you are developing a complex application, then you will have to manage the states of the application across the components. So that is the reason Redux is used to maintain all the states in a single source. If you, if you learn all these technologies, uh, then you will become a React.js developer. Okay, so nowadays React.js developer is a very high demand in IT market. The average salary for React.js developer is 8 to 9 lakhs, 8 to 10 lakhs. So if you want to become a front-end developer or a UI developer, then React.js is one of the best technology to get job in IT market with a decent salary. Okay, if you really like this video, please share to your friends also and also don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any queries about this video, please comment in the comment section. I will reply to your queries. So thank you for watching. We'll meet in the next video.